dance is just a reflection of how we move as people. It's an extension of that. You know, we walk, but then how, how do we walk? We run, how do we run? What's the form? It's natural to dance. I'm Damien Wetzel. I'm the director of the demo series at the Kennedy Center. I was a dancer at the New York City Ballet for almost 25 years, and I'm the president of the Juilliard School. The idea behind Demo is trying to find ways to take individual artists and see what happens when you place them next to or overlapped with other people. The creation of Demo is kind of a risky thing. It's created here at the Kennedy Center, put together in two days. This is a very, the ink is still wet kind of experience. I recognize in them something about curiosity as well as excellence. Just more adventurous than you might want if you just wanted to make sure you were going to put on a perfect, great performance. We typically would not be dancing next to a classical ballerina or low black. When we put demo on the stage, we don't know what's going to happen. It's a lot of risk-taking, and it's, it's risk-taking on his part, on the part of the artists, and it's also risk-taking on the part of the audience. I'm never that interested in what I would call kind of merely good. So technically at 4.30 we start with uh, Solo. So we're going to start running through pieces as per the schedule, Betsy. I found over the course of my career that it wasn't enough to do something just because you want to do it well. It became much more interesting about how what I was doing joined with something else. Something that just kind of extended what I was doing beyond simply the lane I was in. I've got a peace of mind for string quartet paired with Pam Tanowitz, the choreographer. She's created something entirely new with a piece that I know as just music. My piece blueprint has Patricia Delgado, Victor Lozano, and Jason Collins. We get to dance with Patricia Delgado, who is a ballet dancer, and we are typically doing modern and contemporary reps. Patty's ballerina dumb, if you will, with the modern dance world, I thought was a really compelling idea. When I'm working with a dancer like Patty, I have to be really articulate as a director of what I want. She's been pushing me to kind of let go of some of my ballerina isms. Have the end be the accent, not the thing going around. Uh -huh. like, yeah. You so go around. Like, uh -huh. Yeah. That's a, yes. You want to do it with her? I like that. It's just like your... I had approached Philip Glass about creating a piece of music with Little Buck in mind. And he came up with this idea for a, a cello solo. That piece of music has something just ancient about it. It has a feeling of, of centuries. And I find Buck's own presence to be incredibly wise. He can step outside of himself. So he's almost a medium for music, is what I think about it. It kind of co goes into him, and he reimagines it through his body. Soft, like an old painting. Nice, Buck. Damien is more of a visionary for my movements because it's really hard to do the, a lot of stuff that I do, so Damien just wants to bring out the best in me. That's it. We pretty much throw stuff at each other. Like, I throw some choreography out there, and he'll say, what about this? Good. Yeah, we just really develop choreography together like that. Backing up. Yeah. All the way up. 
and start your orbit. Let's just move that a little bit so we see your face. That's good. That's good. Ron. Second. Oh, second one. Seven, eight, two. When you set out to do something like a finale, you don't really know if this is going to work. Four. This was a pretty unique amount of time pressure. Yeah, then we're at that. Bomb. Can we get those counts? The music is simple but not. You kind of think you know what you're doing, but it actually has some variations in it. Was it this? No. That's because they keep this first. The yeah. counts are different within the music and within our counts. Can I get any people over here? Is anybody over there? there? Because me and I fucked it up. That was it. That was it when they bring them out. I'm just not quite sure how to do this right now because it's a little chaotic, but uh, I wasn't entirely happy with the getting out of that. I just, it's just. Well, because no one you know, knows what. So yeah, no one. It's just, no, I mean, I, it's just musically. So it's, after this, right? So what do you Basically, what should happen is we should lead somehow in a line around because Sarah will have replaced you. Sarah's going to come out this way. So if you just split and go that way. Yeah, came around and then picked up Patty. Fine. Something like that. Time wise, we're at time, but I think you should keep going. Oh, we got to. Yeah. But with the Ascending Bird rehearsal, I realized, you know, it's the finale. It has to be great. You can't do a wonderful performance like this and let it all fall apart in the finale. When we gave it our first shot and we didn't even have full cast there, I did think, mm, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to make it. <sighs> yeah, tomorrow I worry about that. I worry about it. It's yeah. more than we think. It's a lot. I mean, even though these pieces are done, they're not yeah. done, done. With the pressure of putting it together the day of, this may not actually turn out. Do we all want to do this one more time? And then we'll do it downstairs. Uh, do you guys need to read through the whole thing? I know you don't, but for Caroline and Savannah, should we do the whole bird once? It's not going to take but we can do it like 35 seconds. Let's do it. Whole bird. OK, we're going to do the whole piece from the top. It's challenging because you know that the clock is ticking. Sarah! Split, guys. That's it. There's a saying we used to have at City Ballet, which is something happened on the way from the main hall to the stage. And that could be good or bad. And then the plan is, do Ascending Bird once through and start from the top? Yes. And do it again at the end or not? I doubt we'll get there. Beginning of rehearsal took much longer than we thought it would. Just putting Ascending Bird together and figuring out the spacing. The challenge really was about scale. Like how much time and how much detail. Here we go. Good. Something, you know, in the studio that feels a little unfocused and you can't quite tell somehow it will gel, you know, in the pressure cooker of the stage. Good. Nice and tight, Ron and Buck. Close together. And then suddenly I thought, okay, I know how this is going to come together. This is great what you're doing. You're out in the house. This is good if you just stay more in, online. Oh, Perfect. Back together. Back and together. Then, yeah. And then you stay there. And just don't forget that, that those trios are circling you. Yes. That's why you can't go back. We you can go back here? after. The concept of perfection is one I think about a lot right now. When we work towards something that would be perfect, that's a driver to work harder in some cases, but is that a limitation? Does that stop us from that idea that there is value to being unfinished, that gives us opportunity to do more? 
I'm convinced that it's in the in-process, in the, in the imperfect, that we actually take bigger steps. That's where we find our truest strengths. Good evening. Welcome, welcome to Demo. I'm Damian Wetzel. Uh, pleasure to see you all here tonight at the Kennedy Center where we've done
phrase that Yo-Yo Ma uses often, which is, what can we do together that we can't do alone? And that really adds up to demo.